What it do y'all? It's your big dog Molly Ma. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sublimate on some silky socks. So let's get right into it. What I have here is, this is a kid's sock. And one thing I love about silky socks is that they put these kind of stitch the size inside the sock, which is pretty cool. Hopefully the camera can kind of pick that up. So I'm gonna load my sock um, onto my sock jig, which is, this is like a little slick, little cardboard that we, um, we use to stretch our sock out. So that way, when we sublimate on it and we go to put our sock on, we don't have those little white lines going in between our sock. Because if I, for example, if I went ahead and just lay my sock down like this and pressed on it, yeah, it would take. But when I go to put my sock on, and like I said, when I stretch it out, I would have little white streaks in the middle of it. We don't want that, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and reload this back up. These socks are 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So that means we're gonna have a nice vibrant image. Okay, now that I have my sock laid out where, where I want it. Um, I have crap paper down because when I sublimate, I don't want any excess ink going down to my bottom heat platen. So you can use butcher paper, you can use regular um, print paper, you can use um, parchment paper, or whatever you you know cardboard if you want to. <laughs> to again, this is just this is just to protect your bottom heat platen. So I have my sublimation transfer. So before I use it, I'm gonna take my lint roller. I'm gonna lint roll my socks. We lint roll my socks the same way we would do any other garment because we don't want any lint or any dirt getting cooked into our uh, into our garment, right? So I'm gonna line these back up right where I want them. And I'm gonna take my sublimation transfer. This is Kraft and Besties um, sublimation paper in combination with Cosmo Zinc. Link for these will be in the description below. Just gonna lay it on top. Um, no heat transfer tape is required. Anything like that. Okay, so I got that's good to go. Okay, next, I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper. This is just regular old, you know, kitchen cookware parchment paper, nothing special. And I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. I'm gonna slide my drawing. And now I'm gonna press. I got my temperature set at 400 degrees. My timer is at 30 seconds. The pressure is like the firm pressure, or like the medium pressure, excuse me. So here we go. See steam come up, that's perfectly fine. Pressing the garment at 400 degrees will do that. So, I kept my hand on top of my heat press because even though this is an auto open heat press, it, I don't want my heat press to just pop open and then my paper shifts on me, which can cause ghosting. So, that's why I kept my hand on top. So, slide my parchment paper to the back. I can see the image clear as day through the sublimation paper, so that let me know that the sublimation process did go through with no issues. And I'm just gonna simply remove, and voila. There you have it, y'all. There you have it. Nice, bright, and vibrant. But we're not done. So I'm just gonna simply set this to the side. And then we're gonna do a little switcheroo and then we're gonna flip them and then next the most important piece of this process is the roll so we're just gonna simply roll our socks inward I'll probably say wait a few seconds before doing this maybe at least you know 15 15 seconds what have you because these are pretty hot So the reason we do this is because 
and like I was saying before, when we sub when we uh, we sub on them and we you know go to wear them, we don't want those white streaks going up and down our socks. So if I didn't do this, I would have a white line going down the seam of my socks, and don't want that, especially if I'm selling these to the you know, to customers. That's good to go. Put my socks back in position. And I'm gonna take my second, I'm gonna take my second sublimation transfer, lay it on top. Make sure that it's covering both the top of the socks and the toes. Grab my parchment paper, throw it back on top. Slide my drawer in and we're gonna press it again, 400 degrees for 30 seconds. Um, don't worry about the double press. The socks will not get burned or anything like that. So no worries. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's see how we did. Throw our parchment paper back to the side. Again, I can see that it's sublimated clear as day. Remove my transfer. Again, you can see all that ink that came off. Actually, if you, hopefully the camera focuses in a little bit. You actually can see the sock mark, the little press mark from the socks. So I want to show you guys what I was talking about earlier. So see how there's no white streak. You can see kind of the image is still, you know, intact. On both, on both socks, which is good. So I'm just going to slide these off. Yep. Look at that. See that? No white streak going down the side. Nope. Same thing on the second pair. No white streak. Cool, cool, cool. All right, y'all, and there you have it. We just sublimated on some silky socks. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit the like button, share button, post notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all right? Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, at IDU's Customs. Links for all of the supplies will be in the description below. As I always say, love you guys. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been your big dog, Molly Moore from IDU's Customs. Remember, you are valued and valuable. Y'all be humble. Stay blessed.